So we'd like to have you subscribe to our channel. Please hit the like button and notify so you can stay current with our latest content. Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel. And it's a beautiful spring day, even though we go below freezing at night here. It's gorgeous. The birds are chirping, a light breeze blowing through the trees. But what I wanted to do was talk to you for just a minute about my update. I know many of you heard about my accident, and I get a lot of emails and private uh, requests from you. Where am I now? So I thought I'd use this video to bring you all up to speed on where I am. First off, I had my accident. I was in the hospital for basically three months. Since the next two years roll by, I was in and out of the ICU two or three times. I had in-home nursing, where I had nurses come and visit me one, two, three times a week, all for my IVs and other issues. But this last year, right near the end of the year, I was discharged from home service. And let me thank my in-care home service nurse for over a year, Ashley. What a wonderful lady and Luana, we're great to have her in our home taking care of her. Which meant now I'm available for outpatient. You can't have in-home and be outpatient at the same time. The insurance company considers it double dipping. But now I'm well enough, the infections are under control. Those of you who visited with me over the last couple of years, you've seen my fever and chill cycles. You know they're no fun, and I am very happy to tell you those are a thing of the past. Well, as long as I keep all my meds balanced and my infections stay under control. But as you're going to be seeing in this video, with the coming of physical therapy, I have two great therapists, Nicole and Mo, and those girls have made me do things I did not think was possible and helped greatly for getting the Essex Skeleton brought here from Massachusetts for me to try. We have a GoFundMe campaign right now, and I will throw a link up in this video to the direct link to uh, donate money, but uh, I'd like to thank those who helped set that up and who have donated money. This will go towards the purchase of my exoskeleton. According to my therapist, and here's the update for you, is as they were having me do my combat crawls and other physical therapy with my upper body, standing, putting weight on my lower body, they were noticing that parts of my strands and my muscles in my lower body were trying to comply with what I was doing. It was nothing that I was personally commanding. It wasn't something I said, I'm going to move my right foot, I'm going to have a hamstring tight now. I have no control over that yet. But my body is clearly trying to remember what we're trying to do, and my mind would desperately like to talk to it. And to that end, the exoskeleton will get the exercise going to have my muscles remember what they used to do in walking. At the same time, I get immediate benefits. Um, bladder, my body no longer is holding fluid like it was, my feet are no longer swollen. Um, circulation is improved, my legs are no longer ice cold, they're usually warm to the touch now, so circulation is improving. Uh, we're looking far for great things and if we play our cards right and we're one of the lucky few, there may become a time when we will not need that exoskeleton to be able to move on our own. I could live with walking with a crutch or a walker, but to be able to move around my hangar and work on airplanes at eye level again is a great thrill for me. Again, thanks for all of you who have donated and will donate it for this cause. And now let's get into some of the video of the um, of the Rewalk Exoskeleton. It's a great piece of sophisticated equipment. It has the price tag of basically going out and buying two IFR Tigers today. It's not cheap. They're not embarrassed about it, but there's nothing that I could spend the money on that would allow me to do what it allows me to do. So let's jump to the video of me learning to walk in the exoskeleton. Now in this first little clip, Zach, the sales rep from Rewalk, is actually walking the exoskeleton around so my therapist can see what it's like to move. And there's a bunch of other <laughs> physical therapists around that are getting some additional training in this product. It is something brand new that they're seeing here in Ohio. And that's Mo and Nicole right there in the red Yankee shirts. Um, those are my two wonderful therapists. And then literally, here are my first steps. All right, we are ready. So and with rolling. the walk, I'm going to hit the walk function. We're going to hip check our hips like this mm -hmm. and hold. So okay. I want you to come along for the ride okay. and feel your body weight shifting over to that leg. Okay. Then the motor's going to work. 
and then the leg's gonna land. When that leg lands, you're gonna shift over to that other side. Okay. So it's gonna be motor, crutch, motor, crutch. Okay. All I care about you doing right now is just keeping your balance. Gotcha. I will do the rest. Okay. And then we'll gradually switch holes. Okay? Okay. We're gonna go that way. Gotcha. Ready? Mm-hmm. spirited yeah. but it should be fine gotcha. I might bump up the, um, <coughs> the sensitivity a little bit so that way we're not scuffing so easily that was I, I can't critique that that was yeah. really good okay I did about I'd say 60 percent there mm -hmm. which is fine because all I cared about was you keeping your balance okay. but your timing was perfect okay so can I have you just stand behind yeah. how'd that feel for you a little different, yeah. not being moved like that, not having mm -hmm. any control over it, but that's okay. You'll get to that point where you have that control? Mm -hmm. I'm going to clear the table, kid. He's not going to sit on the table. He's going to sit back on the table. Okay. He's going to sit here or here? The, the plyo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can go a little lopsided. So to sit, sitting's a lot easier than standing because it's going to sit. Okay. I want two pulls about six okay. inches away. It's fine. So what will happen is the moment you get your crutches back behind you, you're going to hear that triplet of beeps. You're going to go down. Okay. So all you got to do is tuck your chin, keep yourself braced behind you. Okay. And then what will happen is basically, um, you know, your arms might get to a point where they're kind of feeling stiff. Okay. Then you can let go. Okay. But that's not until about, you know, the last 30% of your way down. Gotcha. Okay? All right. So keep your arms forward for now. I really want your weight forward to start. Okay. Lift your crutches forward for me, too. Thank you. Just so that way you really have to break vertical to get back behind you. So then what I do is I stand back here. You ready? Mm-hmm. Bring your crutches back behind you. Oh, boy, howdy. All right. That was waking me up, honey. Yeah, all right. Mo, can I shift you to the other you. side? There you go. Yeah, yeah. Look down. Nice work. That's yeah. perfect. That was textbook. Oh. Woo. You are a hero. Seems like that's a high five moment. Yes. <laughs> that was beautiful, Roscoe. Oh. Super hard. Oh. Super beautiful. How do you feel? Tired. Good. <laughs> I want some, well, we got to do a couple other things first. Do you okay. want a drink of water? No, I'm fine. I'm going to go get it. Okay, now that we've looked at the exoskeleton, I'd like to thank you very quickly. Let's take a moment here to add a little clip that we're going to use a lot. And as a little treat, for those of you who've noticed the back porch and the, and the wonderful view and ambiance it has out here, but this summer we had it repainted, both top and bottom. So the entire porch has all been done and the decking has all been cleaned and pressure washed and restained needs to be mopped right now after winter but as you see we've done some improvements so a place that I get to come out and enjoy the warm weather and now that we have warm weather coming back it'll be wonderful enjoy this little treat
And here's the camera we have on the back sun porch, so you can kind of get a feel for the entire view. The pool's on the right, the garden's on the left, and the woods are all behind us. And that's me waving, so enjoy. And on the rewalk, we hope you found all this useful and informative. This is my status of where I am in my health quest. Thanks for all your help and support of all the GPA members who visited me and have shared stories with me over the years. It means a lot to me. Again, thank you all very much and have a great day flying your Grumman. And in addition, there's a little treat about 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing web work and other stuff. Here's my cat coming down, playing with a mouse and meowing and just having a good time with me in the wee hours of the night. So I thought I'd throw this into you as a little treat. Y'all please enjoy.